Well, hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? It is a good Saturday morning. A little chilly. <clears throat> a little chilly. Is that what I was working on? I think that's what I was working on. Hey, camera for life. <clears throat> I don't even have to map anywhere. I'll just walk over to our tractor. <clears throat> So what we'll do is we'll finish plowing this and then I'll grab a seeder and start seeding some sunflowers on this field. And maybe on the other little two fields that I plowed in earlier episodes. <clears throat> so how are you guys all doing today? I'm just waking up. Do the trick. <clears throat> yeah, this week I thought for sure it was going to be one of those weeks of work where I'd have to chain up so many times because almost every single day we drove through a snowstorm. It's just snowstorm after snowstorm and then thawing out and then black ice and then I thought every single day I'm like okay when I get to this pass I'm gonna have to chain up but it never happened it's amazing the difference that having a truck where the diff lockers both work how much more ice you can drive on before you spin out. That and we timed out the passes. I tried to make sure I wasn't the first truck over the mountains. I tried to get over the mountains, the biggest passes, right around noon when everything is thawing out and that worked it pretty well. Uh, yesterday driving over the Paulson in the morning, that was mighty, mighty slippery, but I was empty and I was really careful try to keep momentum past trucks at the right time so I didn't spin out and then last night coming back home the other direction over the Paulson the Paulson was good but um, anarchists started getting a little slippery the black ice was starting to kick in so it's a couple of moments where like uh oh we started to slip Luckily I had all the diff lockers on and power divider on and made it right over. And for once, my truck's not in the shop, so I'm going to maybe go work on it later on after the stream. Because, uh, what was it, two weeks ago when I chained up, I actually broke one of the chains. I'd like to fix it. I have a backup chain, so it's fine being broken. But I'd like to fix it. The, just tear one of the side chains off and then put it. I'm gonna basically Frankenstein two sets of chains together. But all the side links, all the side links are broken on. Not all the side. There's a couple of side links broken on that one set of chains. Yeah, nothing broken on it this week. Well, I guess the chains, but I didn't break that this week. <coughs> so it's not in the chop. Having actually said that, they last weekend when it was in the shop, they fixed all the lights on my trailer. An hour after I pulled away, some of the lights failed already. So I gotta get that fixed again. I'm not gonna bring it to the same spot again. They, they tried to charge our company a thousand dollars to fix the lights that didn't work an hour after we pulled away so we're not paying that bill 
they do a really good job at fixing trucks. But fixing trailers, they're not the best at that. VRF said to make sure I leave him a note so he doesn't miss the stream so I did that but uh, he's not online anymore so maybe he's away from the keyboard and he's gonna miss the stream again <laughs> poor guy so what are you up to Kenworth aside from playing American Truck Simulator Just sitting there, doing nothing. Isn't it like almost lunchtime for you already? <laughs> Wishing the Pro Star would go bye bye. I've got another another whole year in that Pro Star before the lease runs out. And I'm doing really well in the company, so I think I think I'll be able to get at least a little bit of what I want in my next truck. Some things I want is like a taller sleeper. So there's a little more room in there. <clears throat> Maybe a little more horsepower. You're hungry. So you should go eat something if you're hungry. You're right, you should. You go eat something now, that's good. If you're hungry, you should go eat. This field won't take too long to finish plowing. We're making some good progress here. We did have an issue this week with customs, so actually that was day before yesterday, so Thursday night I got stuck at customs. Got through customs, made me pull over said that my uh, e-manifest wasn't in their computer system so called dispatch they contacted the broker <coughs> apparently the broker forgot to enter it into the system that's all their job is to enter it into the computer system so that customs knows what we're carrying and everything has been properly paid for and taxed and duties and all that that's their job. And they didn't do their job. So that's the only job they have is to enter it into the system. To make sure everything's paid for. 
Nope. They forgot. So I had to sit for at customs for an hour and a half waiting for the paperwork to get sorted out. That was certainly irritating because I wanted to untarp at our destination when we got there in the evening, but an hour and a half behind, now it was pouring rain and it's dark outside and I'm like, nope, I guess I'll untarp in the morning. So that put us behind on Friday by an hour and a half. But that's okay. We still got it done. This tractor's a little low on fuel. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Why, it's Saturday morning. Normally Saturday, Saturday mornings there's like a whole bunch of you online, live chat. It's a f very quiet Friday evening too, driving home. It was actually quite peaceful, there was hardly any cars on the highway. There you are VRF! I did leave you a comment in, uh, in Steam, I'm like I hope, I hope you got it. I just realized what time it is in game. It's gonna get dark soon. Sun setting. Really? Ah, I have to come back that way anyway. I'll get up on the way back up. Go. Oh, you're not going to be in school on Monday. Is there a holiday or something? On Monday, I'll be in Vancouver. Well, I'm actually going to get there Sunday uh, Sunday evening. We're going to drive. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll do laundry while we're streaming. And then, uh, right after the stream, we're heading up to Vancouver. So really, I only have a day and a half off from work. And that is my choice. 
I like working. Okay, let's put this plow to storage. Awesome. Oh, there's a virtual reality farmer joining in game. Synchronization. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of a dreary day out there. I don't know if I want to go work on chains out there. Cold and overcast and kind of a blah day. I was hoping for some sunshine so I could work outside. <clears throat> I don't have to fix the chains right now. I have another set that isn't broken. So I've got four four good sets and then one that is kind of broken but kind of held together with temporary chain links. You can you know, they screw together these chain links. I did that with those. We have been synchronized. <clears throat> okay, so we need... Uh, that cedar over here, I think, for sunflowers. Do we just need to fill it up? <clears throat> There's virtual reality farmer. Hey, now that he's standing in there, that reminds me. How are our prices doing? Ah, <sighs> crap. <laughs> They're doing crap. Uh, it doesn't even play Farm Simulator. Uh. You're at your grandparents' place again? Such a tight corner to get into. This is much worse than lag when your computer doesn't even uh, play the game well. Yep. Make sure you turn the graphics all the way down. I think it is all the way down. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. Whew. Nope. Wrong button.
see if this is gonna work. Oh, come on. Nope, there it goes, there it goes. Awesome. It's definitely a finicky otter wagon. I wish it worked a little bit better. Where am I going? Actually, I can go this way. Um, it was parked up beside, uh, beside, uh, I guess it's the, uh, the silage wagon sitting right over there. That's where it was parked, right in the yard there. Doesn't really matter where it's parked. As long as it's put away nicely. If you can do that with your computer lagging. Or worse than lagging, just your computer not playing the game. You're playing with pixels right now. Oh boy. Oh, this is... The auto width is all messed up on here, isn't it? What should you do? Uh, whatever you can do. <laughs> I'm not sure what there is all to do. Looks like we're harvesting field 22. Animals to take care of, I'm pretty sure. Field uh, 17, let's take a look here. 
No, field 17 is not ready for harvest yet. Uh, what's going on with field 8? So field 8 could be seeded and field 22 could be seeded. I guess field 22 Field 22, I guess you guys harvested it last time. I didn't realize that was all done already. <coughs> Field 17 is right in front of me. It looks like it's just splotchy. Not quite ready for harvesting yet. There we go. Screenshot. It does that in that little corner. Sometimes it doesn't want to seat properly there. Just a little bit of a weird elevation change. Definitely plowed a lot closer to those edges now, didn't I? Makes it harder to seed right to the edge, which is fine if we don't get right to the edge. <coughs> but now we have the ability to. Can't see where I'm going. Oh, oh, oh. Serpent time, apparently. Serpent time. Oh boy. <coughs> oh, oh. Just nicked that mailbox. I mean, power line pole. I was just going, who drove through the middle of my field? There's tracks through the middle of the field. That was me. Yep, that was me. <laughs> Driving the plow back to the farm. How dare I. Ah, Kenworth is e eating some food. Ate food, eating food. Ate food. Kenworth is no longer hungry. Ah, oh, that moves slow. Okay, I can just hold it in. It still moves really slow. Why is that? <laughs> Poor VRF. Hard to play when your computer's not behaving. Not only are your computer not behaving, then you have internet lag. Hey Mr. Farmer, it's actually getting a little bit of sunny there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I hope we get a little bit of sun here because I could use some. What did VRF just say? Always blame lag. 
every time you crash into something. Leg! I'm lagging out. Yep, that's a good idea. Always blame leg. So have any of you guys watched the new, uh, new, um, videos, trucking videos? You guys like the new stable, smooth video? No more shaking all about. I did try that new microphone yesterday's video, or not yesterday's video, in two weeks from now. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I don't know if it worked or not, but we'll have to figure it out. You watched one in your free time at school? Awesome, Kenworth. I don't know, I like that video camera so much better. Not having the whole video just shaking all over, because it's such a rough ride. You only went to watch the one where, where the trucks were all in the ditch. Actually, um, what was it now? Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, there was a huge crane in the ditch. Yeah, a microphone. I'm working on fixing that. I I have the new one now, so I I'll see if I'll see if that worked. I've done a test video. I haven't watched it yet. We'll see if the microphone makes a difference. It better. Now, is the microphone compatible with that camera? That's the biggest question. I'm sure the microphone is awesome. Yeah, like a big crane. You know one of those cranes that four big four axle cranes that have a trailer behind it to carry its own mast mast? The front two axles are steering axles and the back two are drive axles. Big crane like that, upside down in the ditch. Unfortunately, it was kind of down, like a small cliff, so you can't really see it in the video, just the back end of it sticking out. But I don't know how they're going to pull that thing out of the ditch. Currently working on releasing the one whole map on Mod Hub, or one whole field map. Awesome! The whole map is one field. Well guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Always come join us live every Saturday and Sunday morning. Because we keep streaming. And you guys can join in game. Join in live chat. And thank you for always watching and being such a... Uh, reliable viewers you guys always always come and watch always really appreciate it makes it interesting when you guys keep the chat active and lively see you guys tomorrow morning have a great day